Hi there. Okay, so I just want to take you through how I've been using Claude to help me write content and um, why I've been finding this more useful than creating like custom GPTs or uh, over on chat GPT. So um, the first thing I want to point out is that this feature called projects, I believe is only on the professional plan. So if, you, if you're not on the pay plan, you probably won't see this. Um, but I personally think it's really worth doing it. So when we click on the projects, what it does is that you can then create a, um, so if you create a new project, so I'm gonna use one of mine as an example. And over here, we've got the project knowledge. So what, this is where you can train Claude with all the information that um, you want it to use. Um, for the specific project that you're working on. So for example, Niche Outside the Box is one of my programs. And so in here, in the project knowledge, I have given it some instructions. So in the custom instructions is where I am giving it instructions on how to write. So things like write in a conversational tone, don't use hashtags, use UK spelling, don't use analogies. And these are phrases and words that it was using that I um, didn't want it to use. And so I, I any time that it comes up with something that I don't doesn't sound like my brand voice, I can put it in here. And what I found is that it actually remembers these instructions, whereas ChatGPT I found tends to forget them. And also, as you can see, it's really easy to just come in and edit it and update it. Um, so yeah, so that's for your voice and stuff. Well, that's just kind of like, I'm just using these as sort of instructions. And obviously you can get really granular here, but I found just this has, has been enough so far without getting too complicated. And then here is, um, so when what you can do then is add content. So this is where you're training it with knowledge about the project. So for example, here I copied and pasted my sales page for my program so it knows what the program is that we're talking about. Um, here, uh, just an overview of the different ICAs that might be a good fit for this program. I've uploaded some samples of my voice for it to reference. And again, I can keep adding content to keep refining this as I work through getting Claude to help me with my content. Um, and again, as you can see, you can upload loads and it's not just, so I've been adding it as text, copying and pasting from Google Docs, but if you've got stuff in other formats, you can upload, you can see here, PowerPoints or Words or whatever. So Word documents. Um, and I've only uploaded four things so far and I've used 3% of um, how much I can Upload, so it's saying, yeah. So it looks like you can upload loads. So you can give it lots and lots of context. And as you're kind of working through it, um, then you, you know, can keep adding that if you're finding that it, it isn't, you know, as you keep kind of working with it and refining it for your project. And then the chats over here, this is where you do the, I mean, I'm getting it to help me to, to write content. So, um, so in this chat, is where I was getting it to you know, help me decide he might be a good fit. And because I've already uploaded my sales page, I don't have to tell it what my what offer is, it knows. And so that's how it can just quickly you know, work on that information. Um, so this was an idea I came up with for, um, like, you know, other ways of, of working with my ideal client. Um, and so in here is where I'm asking it to like write stuff for me um, and helping me to kind of refine my content and sales pages and all that kind of stuff. And so, and then this is just one program, uh, sorry, one project. And so we can go back and we can use it for lots of different projects. So I just wanted to show you that overview of um, the projects feature in Claude because I've just found it super, super helpful and way easier to kind of use and to navigate. Um, instead rather than custom GPTs, um, at least for me at this point.